As you get into golf, it won't be long before you want to hit the driver, the one that hits it the farthest. We all love giving the ball a, a mighty whack with the club head and seeing that ball fly off into the distance. Well, in this segment, I'm going to help you make sure you don't become a slicer of the golf ball. Most beginners slice the ball initially, and I'm going to tell you why that happens. And you're going to learn that you must, the toe must go. That's the key phrase here. You're going to learn that you've got to let the toe of the club go through the hitting area. Lots of drills on how to make the toe go and actually help you hit a ball that curves with a draw. I'm going to explain what a draw is that maximizes your distance with the driver off the tee. And so we've made it to the driver, the longest club in the bag, the club with the least loft in the bag, probably the most difficult club to hit straight, and probably the club that most beginners will hit a variety, a form of this type of shot. I'm going to keep this within camera distance, but I am just going to let this ball slice off to the right. And of course, a big slice for me as a right-hander would go way, way off to the right. Now, most beginners slice the ball when they start, and that's because they don't know where this end of the club is is this end being the toe end of the club and i say look if you're going to be a good driver of the ball you've got to be able to draw the ball a little bit it gives you lots of distance so let's give you some thoughts in the setup and then some thoughts about how to make the toe go if you want to get rid of a slice you have to make the toe go more on that in just a moment the setup for the driver well it's a little bit different actually because the ball's sitting on a tee fairly high tee so we actually play the ball a little bit further forwards with the driver, probably off the inside of the left foot, almost off the, probably the ball and socket joint of my lead foot. And I'm going to tilt my body just a little bit to the side. This is a good drill, putting the club underneath your chin, driver, and tilt the body until the grip end just touches your lead leg. For me, it's my left leg. That puts me in a position to actually swing up at the ball a little bit. This and maybe the putter would be the only two clubs in the bag, and I say maybe the putter, but this and just perhaps the putter would be the only two clubs where we would hit up at. The rest of them, we've got to be hitting either level or hitting down. But with the driver, let's set up to hit up because that maximizes the distance set up to hit up the other thing that helps with the driver is to take the trail foot and just move it back just a little bit again it'd be the only club in the bag i would do that with it might help you swing a little bit more from what some people call inside the target line instead of coming down that way and hitting with the face open which is what causes the slice but the real cause of the slice would be when you hit with the driver the face of your club is open, the toe is trailing the heel relative to the path you're swinging on. Now, let me just make a, a sort of an oversized and exaggerated demonstration of something here. Uh, I use this, it's not a hockey stick, it's a, a thing that I built, it's kind of sort of like a hockey stick, but it's also like a golf club. This would be the heel, this would be the toe. I want you to look here that when I finish the backswing, the toe of the club would have farther to go to reach the ball than the heel. The toe's got quite a bit farther to go. So if I don't make the toe go, I won't hit with the face square. If I were to bring the heel and the toe down at the same speed, I'm going to hit with the face open. And of course then, the ball will go woefully to the right. So I say to all golfers, we have to know if we're trying to draw the ball from here, the toe must go. And if you get the face a bit closed, that's okay. I have a drill to help you with that. And I call that drill the knuckle count. Now I said in the first segment we did, I said put three dots on your glove. As you set up, I want you to see at least three dots. I said strong is long. As you set up, three. When you get to the top to help with square in the club face, as you glance back, I only want you to see two dots. I don't want you to see three dots, I want you to see two dots. When you get when the shaft is parallel to the ground, I only want you to see one dot. And at impact, I want you to see no dots. So I call it three, two, one, none. Three, 
two, one, none. Do you see how that closes the club face? Now that would probably be a bit too much, truthfully, but it's unlikely that a beginner would do that. So the feeling of going from three knuckles in view to two knuckles in view, to one knuckle in view, to no knuckles in view, helps close the club face. Let me show you. So if I play the ball forward, I pull the trail foot back a little bit, and I go three, two, one, none, with particular emphasis on, I do not want to see any knuckles when I get to impact. If I do that, I should be able to avoid hitting a slice to the right. Three, two, one, none. And that ball was hit with a little bit of draw to the left. Even though the wind is blowing this way, I managed to curve the ball back the other way. Three, two, one, none. It's as good a drill as I know when you're playing golf for getting rid of that slice. And as a beginner, it would be really important that you get rid of the slice. There is no slicing on the road to good golf. You can go from slicing to hooking to good golf. You can go from hooking, hooking being a ball that would, for a right-hand golfer, curve to the left. So I'm going to go three, I'm going to go two, I'm going to go one, and I'm going to go no knuckles visible. If I go three, two, one, none, three, two, one, none, I'm going to hit that ball. I don't know if you could follow that by the camera. Maybe you could, maybe you couldn't, but if you could, you would see that ball was turning a little bit to the left. If you haven't got time to hit golf balls, I have one last drill that has worked like magic for some of my students. And I call it the screwdriver drill. I've actually taken the head off a golf club and I stick this shaft in the ground. Now you'll see as you look at this, I have put green tape on one side of that shaft and I've put red tape on the other. If you show no knuckles at impact, you will also see a green shaft and I use little rhymes to teach people with. When you see green, the slice will not be seen. When you see green, the slice will not be seen. If you see red, your ball is probably dead, meaning it's in the water, it's out of bounds, you've lost your ball. When you see green, the slice will not be seen. So if you can have this feeling done this with so many players that's actually what your hands are doing if you're trying to hit a draw you're not doing it all in that place you're going three two one none if you go three two one none you're going to be able to hit that ball with a bit of draw and as someone who's just getting into the golf it would be my pleasure if you sent me an email a letter or some correspondent said martin i'm not slicing the ball any longer I can draw it. That would make me a very happy golf professional.